I can't hear, so you got to do whatever. Thank you, got to do the intro. Oh, okay. Welcome back to PPPs. And Jimmy can't hear. I was giving him the vibe, but he wasn't about it. Speaking of vibes, Nestor Cortez. Junior, Jimmy, he's a starting pitcher. It's not even up for debate. There were times, I think even going into last season, we thought, could he be like a swing man? Uh, He's the man. He's been the man for the Yankees for a couple years now. Uh, Finally getting his first full, like, payday this year, 3.2 mil. Um, Coming off of a 14-4 season, a 2-4-4 ERA, 28 starts, an all-star appearance, and eighth in the Cy Young voting, Jim. Nestor's yeah. huge for this team. Three Cy Young votes. How about that? Who 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 gave him those? Hokey? Gotta be. Gotta be. If you look at Nestor's baseball reference, it would look like last year is the first like full year, obviously. In in 2021, his ERA was 2.9, 2.9 which is uh, awesome. But only 14 games started. So last year was this guy's first year as an MLB starting pitcher from start to finish. 28 games started. 2.44 ERA. One complete game shutout. Cy Young votes. I mean, uh, not only what he brings on the field, but just like in personality, in tempo, in vibe, how much he uh, cherished doing all this. It was awesome. What was that face? I have the people who voted for Nestor Cortez. Three fifth place votes. Brian Hoke, Randy Miller, and Chris McCoskey of the Detroit News. Yeah, hell yeah. McCoskey Hive, raise up. <laughs> Who's that guy? I'm going to follow just him. Pining for a Yankees beat job. Chris McCoskey? Chris McCoskey. I think I found him. Oh, yes. Hot. One. And yeah, he covers he covers the Tigers. So. Did, did Nestor shut down the Cole's Tigers? Boat. What's that? Did Nestor shut down the Tigers? Mm. Nestor didn't face the Tigers last year. He follows the game, Jim. <laughs> it's Chris Mikoski. <laughs> Man, all right. Nestor is a guy uh, that the lab helped out. You know, we talk about the changing pitches and all of that and he invented a cutter. He invented a sweeper. Do you know Baseball Savant has now added sweeper instead of slider and stuff to uh, their official categorizing of pitches? So Nestor has the sweeper, which was a slider last year. Now they're, it was a sweeper was a type of slider. Now they're saying, nope, it's its own pitch. Um, but he created them. He didn't have them before that. And then in 2022, he really relied on the cutter, the sweeper, which made his four-seam fastball even better because it was sneakier. And we saw a lot of the funky deliveries go down. He still used them. They were still there, but they weren't the main deception anymore. It was pinpoint control was what Nestor uh, beat guys with. It was like keeping them off balance, having a nice breaking ball and pinpoint control. So you would think the repertoire is going to be the same. We haven't heard about a new pitch in spring training or anything like that. I mean, he kind of, had his three pitches and rolled with it. Yeah, and we, we saw that there was that brief period last year because he was pitching mostly inside to righties, and then we saw righties adjust for a couple games, and then Nestor adjusted back, uh, and that's that's baseball. That's when you talk to any anyone who plays the game. It's the game of adjustments, and he he's proven he can do that. And, yeah, talk about being in the baseball in right time, man. You talk about, um, you know, Matt Blake in the gas station, but it's also a time when, you know, Fastballs were just measured on velo for years, and you've got guys like Paul Seawald. Uh, he, he's the closer for the Mariners. He's got like a 91-mile-per-hour fastball, and he throws it up in the zone, and guys can't hit it. When for years, pitchers told him, like, hey, if you're going to throw that, blow it away, kid. And he's like, whenever I do that, I get hit. Um, Nestor, Nestor has been awesome, and yeah, now he almost uses his trick shots of like when he's on fire, like NBA jam mode. Like if he's in a heater, 
or it's like a Sunday night game, it's like, I'll throw one out there. Like, you know, I'll show Devers one just for fun of it. Man, he is awesome. And, you know, for people that use that, uh, if you took away names, there's a 28-year-old starting pitcher on the Yankees who's got three years of service time left uh, or arbitration time left. Like, Nestor, in a way, is the Yankees' most valuable asset. Um, like, if you go to any of those trade websites, you see the 28-year-old pitcher with the three years in the cheap contract. Um, he has been huge and a, such a big solution to the Yankees. Even you guys doing the, the trade recap episode of, of the Yankees' past couple years, like, he's been the answer. He's been the Sonny Gray. He's been the James Paxton. Like, he's been exactly what we've been looking for. Um and he's, he's absolute nails, and not that it matters to him at all, but with Rodon, with Seve hopefully back for a full season, like there's less pressure on him, not that it matters at all. Can the Yankees even take credit? He credits most no. of his work to, like, Winter League. They let him or go. Not, not Winter League in the winter, just, like, doing it on his own. They let him go. They let him go to Seattle. He got rocked, and then he came back, and he was nasty, Nestor. He made two uh, nice starts, I believe, in the divisional series. Not a great start against the Astros, although I don't remember the full details of that one, and maybe that's because I don't remember the full details of any of those games, and why would I? And don't even bring him up on a spring training right. fun PPP episode. But he did make two postseason starts, which I think was what everyone, like halfway through the season, like, all right, like, Nestor, like, are you going to be – um, El Duque? Like, are you going to bring the funk and the fun? And him and, and Bieber went at it in that one game, five innings pitch, two earned runs. He did walk a couple guys. And then in his second start, game five, mind you, Jake, mm. of the DS, you remember? That's a big game. That's a big game. That's a sneaky big game. And, and all of that is on top of, I know he's pitched a lot in winter leagues and with minor leagues and stuff, but like you said, this was his first full major league season. That's more pressure pitching, 158.1 in the regular season uh, with the postseason innings, which I just had. And how could you lose it that easily? 12 postseason innings. So those are, um, you know, I, who knows where his body was at at that point in the season. Nestor feels like a guy that it, it doesn't really matter either way, but that, that kind of workload does take a wear on you that hopefully this year he's better built up. He, um, he had the Phantom IL last year. It seems like he has a Phantom IL as we record this this year. He's not going to the WBC. Um, they said hamstring, and then he was thrown off the mound for the Yankees. So um, I don't know. There, there's nothing to last year we went in with, Almost a sense of, like, ready to be hurt by Nestor. Like, are, was he going to be in this world of Aaron Smalls and, and other guys that, are, you know, Jay Happ when he first came over and was lights out for the Yankees? Is he going to land in that bucket? No. He got better. He was, he was in the All-Star game. Um, he was the best pitcher on the team last year? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's up for debate, I, I think. The fact it's even up for debate uh, is is compliments to Nestor. Oh, war, ha war has him up above Cole. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Cole, through 200 innings, didn't miss a side. The, the ERAs are different, but I don't know. I mean, the, the innings are low. They had the Phantom IL and all that, but it's up for debate. Yeah, which that in itself is pretty nuts. ERA is a tricky one sometimes. Um, yeah, more the same. Like it's you could still, I still think that there are people waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, waiting for maybe people might be waiting for him to settle into what is the rinse and repeat of Nestor Cole, Nestor Cole, Nestor Cortez. Do you get? Does that make sense? What I'm saying, like. Okay, I believe that Nestor is a quality top tier pitcher. I don't think he's gonna the other shoe drops and he's back to what he was before he changed all his pitches and stuff. Like the stuff's there, the controls there, the confidence there. I think he's gonna be a top of the rotation pitcher for the Yankees this year. But where does it fall at? And then where does that fall out again? And again and again. And Rodon kind of was in this bucket 
and then had his three years or two and a half years or whatever it was. Was it two or was it three for Rodon? And then he got his big payday. So, like, how many more until Nestor's a free agent? If he does this, a while. Yeah. And how old would he be? Uh, he'd be like 31. So, I mean, you know. How old's Rodon? He's, he's just, I think Rodon's 31, 32. 30. Okay. He could be chasing that. But what what's the rinse and repeat? Like, at the end of 2022, three are we like oh shit we got to get closer to back to 2022 and find a middle ground or like all right 30 starts 28 starts with a a three two era great be that i don't need him to have a two four again i'd love it but i'd like reliable you you're in the games you're in when he's pitching keeps the pace keeps the tempo just he's got to own the mound it seems very important to who he is as a pitcher like owning the mound the tempo the game he's it's his game clock and he's one of the only people that isn't really going to have to adjust to this game clock right. um he's had one of the fastest tempos uh in baseball last year and I think it's funny. I mean, we're we're still doing a little prep because it's such a good year and baseball's such a tough sport that you can't you can't expect that from a player. A two four is crazy. Um, <laughs> hey, there is a world he gets better. <laughs> like you know, I I've said that with young players before. You know, he's going to be twenty eight. He's you know he's he's built up a little more. He's gotten better. He was a two nine and twenty one. He comes back for more the next year. Uh, ERA, like you're saying, not necessarily the best metric, but if he's that guy, um, and I mean, we love it, dude. The mustache. He's more comfortable. He's going to every sporting event. He's in like that part of his Yankee phase. He's at spring training, like not fully dressed. Like he's got that street cred now. Like, hey, I'm one of the starters. Like I can I can show up in shorts, sunnies, and a mustache and be good. Um that yeah, man, I mean I I love where Nestor's at. Like, if you have that kind of season, normally the bar gets set and it's like, well, we need you to be our one A, right? Like on any any other team. The bar would be set like you're our one A now, dude. Like Cole, Cole's, you know, we gave him the huge contract. You did that. You were an all star. You got to be the guy. Yankees got Rodon. Sevy's supposed to be bouncing. Like, there's no more expectations for Nestor. And it's so funny that the other guys, like Rodon's this crazy lefty velo strikeout slider guy. Cole is Cole. Sevy, Bulldog Sevy pumping it. And Nestor, he's still going to be that funk, man, that there's going to be series when. You know, game one, they're facing they're facing the Twins, and Rodon goes out, seven innings, eight Ks. Uh, Savvy goes out, seven innings, nine Ks. And then Nestor comes in, and you're like, what is this? And he goes eight innings, ten Ks. I do have to call myself out a little bit. I mean, if, if he was the angel on the Angels, I think I'd be playing into, like, there was one year you can't. You know what I'm saying about Anderson and even Heaney. Like one you can't, and a half, to be fair. One and a half, to be fair, and a completely new repertoire. But that is the same for Heaney and um, whatever his name is as well. So yeah, I don't think a two four four. It, it just give me under three five, and I'm incredibly excited. And then like maintain who you are, keep right. the tempo, keep the funk. Even though you don't need it, I think you need it. It's yeah. like what I tell you in blitzball. You got to have fun. Like, you got to be you. Imagine a serious Nestor. Like, that would stink. No. I do like Nestor. This is something, if, like, this is your first season Come really on. tuning in to the Yankees. Nestor's such a sass pot to yeah. umpires. Like, like, he's such, like, a... Okay. There's a major league progression. I just... I described yeah. level one. Like, you're on the rotation. You can be silly at spring training. Two is, like, you could give the umps a little, like... <laughs> that's just wrong, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's Nestor's yeah. attitude. Yeah. Okay. Good call. That's he. He threw a little bit of that their way, um, and then for like doubters and and people that are like, you know, the league will catch up, or this was just right. one off. Like the, I think the best thing to show for that is what you said, Jake. He started the year cutter and four seam fastball, and he was like a two pitch pitcher until June, and then he he saw some good offenses. He saw the Twins, uh, he saw the Rays, and he saw the Astros all in June last year. And they jumped his cutter. Uh, 
And he they made him change his repertoire to where the the sweeper jumped up, the cutter went down, and they met in the middle there. But he got rocked like three games. I think it was a tough stretch. And he made the adjustment. His second half is better than his first half. So you saw that. And you talked about it at the beginning, but that would be a big, like, he already did that. Right. Like, he already he already had to make the adjustment to it. Um, I believe he gave up the softest home run um, Tampa. in all Major League Baseball stat cast error last year against the race. Yeah. Like an 80-mile-per-hour exit velo. And I, he, he's a silly guy, man, but at the same time, his... He competes. He had that diving play at first base. When he gives up a homer, you never see him hang his head. He kind of just does the leg. All right, you got me. Oh, that's a sign of a guy that gave up a lot of homers in, in <laughs> yeah. his career. Yeah, you got to bounce back from that. Oh, yeah. Um, What was there? Oh, I, you know, I, a lot of nesters on the field, in between the field, off the field. I'm going in between. The gif of, I know the kids use it a lot, and I'm sounding old. The gif of him with the, with the the bubblegum bucket running like a little penguin? That's yeah. unreal. Well, you like penguins. You're a big penguin That's guy. That's unreal that we get that from a Yankees all-star pitcher. Yeah, that is cool. Well, you know, Tanaka gave a lot of that to us. And Sevy. It was a lot more sexy with Tanaka. He was so cute. <laughs> I mean, during the day, he was cute. R.I.P. All right, play the music. Let's do Tanaka's PPP. Oh, yeah. He, he had a hell of a year last year. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Splitter. Hey. Um, do we have an over under for Nestor? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, do we? Looks like Hoodie got involved in the over unders. How about that? Love uh, it. And the over unders brought to you by SeatGeek. Make sure you guys are downloading the SeatGeek app. Use code JOHNBOY PRESEASON, 15% off your order. So if you've already used one of our promos at SeatGeek before, you can still use this whether you're a first-time buyer or not. Code JOHNBOY PRESEASON, 15% off. Go to whatever sporting event you want, wherever they have seats or geeks. Download the SeatGeek app, JOHNBOY PRESEASON, 15% off. So Hoodie went innings on. He went a buck forty three, which feels a little rude because how could we take the under on that? Um, okay. How could we take the under on that? Indeed, he one fifty eight point one last year. And again, like Nestor was asked about workload, and he was like, I oh, I pitched winter league every season of my <laughs> career besides in between 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic and stuff. He's like, so those innings that you're seeing aren't actually what my arm did. Right. We were like, Oh, it's most innings. We do do that a lot, but, um, 158 plus postseason last year. Now baseball reference projections, which is also a segment where we're going to do here at the end, Jake, what Mm. did, what did hoodie have it as 143 innings pitched? Well, that's what they have on B ref. So maybe oh, we know wow. where, maybe we know where Hoodie got his stuff. Wow, from. wow! One of those college kids scraping by the last semester, huh? Dude, I'm taking the over because I'm yeah. I, like obviously it's a Yankees show and we're positive. Yeah. But if there's one guy, I'm not going to sprinkle like bad bets against. It's Nestor. Yeah. He's going to have a lot of doubters already. And I'm trying, I presented some arguments for him. And if he was on a different team, I'd be a doubter. He's a Yankee and I've seen the progression. I know the new pitches and I know the temperament on the mound. It just depends on how many fake hamstring injuries they're going to give him this year. Right. But I'm taking the over. I think what we need, the difference we need to see this year out of him is more six inning games. Um, than last year, where he completes the sixth inning, you know, and I think okay. the pitch clock's going to help him do that. He had 15 games last year where he didn't complete the sixth inning out of his 28. That's more than half if you are interested in doing math. And I think that we need more than half of his games to complete the sixth inning this year, taking the over. Yeah, I mean, it. it again, that's... It, it's it's injury or the Yankees trying to severely limit him, and so I'm I'm not going to believe in that. Jim, 
Can I? I'm gonna go over with you, and can I send you out with a nice Jakey butter knife? Yeah. What if I told you there were five pitchers in Major League Baseball who, over the past two seasons, have 250 innings pitched and have an ERA under 2.7? Carlos Rodon, that's... Max Scherzer, Julio Urias, Alec Manoa. And Nestor Cortez Jr. I never heard of that fourth one, but the rest, great company. hi We're the same height and size as Manoa combined. Yeah. Maybe like my butt on your fupa. Thanks, everybody. Like stacked like this, I meant. No, 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 no. Playoff El Duque. Well, not fully. El Duque is pretty fucking good. It's really good. It was real good. Fish face. Doo-doo-doo.